for the Mix Morning Briefing on Mix TV presented by Toyota of Cleveland. In the news today, Tennessee Republican Representative Robin Smith of Hickson said Tuesday that she has no explanation for why her home and her legislative office in Nashville were raided by FBI agents. Representative Smith speaking to the Chattanooga Times Free Press and uh, correspondent Andy Scherer said, quote, I'm fully cooperating. There is an investigation. You know, the statement is what it is. I'm not the target of the investigation, but I certainly don't want to do anything to jeopardize that, end quote. Now, uh, also, federal agents searched on Friday her home, her office, and uh, also uh, that of Glenn Cassida, former House Speaker, Republican of Franklin, as uh, well as a newly elected Representative Todd Warner of Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Speaking of the state legislature, the uh, state Senate on Tuesday re-elected Lieutenant uh, Governor Randy McNally, a Republican of Oak Ridge, as the uh, Speaker of the Senate for a third term. It was the first day of the 112th General Assembly in the state capital of Nashville. WTVC Channel 9 is reporting today that the city of Etowah says that a former funeral home employee, Brian Miracle, is now facing charges that he stole money from the Serenity Funeral Home of Etowah beginning in September is when uh, this was discovered. The incident reported to the Etowah Police Department and uh, the city says that uh, they discovered the amount uh, taken from the funeral home estimated to be about $80,000. The city also said they discovered an additional $13,000 taken from individuals and not turned over to the funeral home for payments made toward funerals. Brian Miracle arrested on two grand jury indictments for theft over $60,000 and theft over $10,000 and taken and booked at the McMinn County Jail. The State Health Department of Tennessee reports that there is great progress in rapidly vaccinating those at highest risk of serious illness and death from COVID-19. More than 220,000 people have been vaccinated statewide. That is among the leaders in uh, the nation as far as the state is concerned. And the College Dale uh, Police Chief has been placed on administrative leave following a recent police chase that they say he was involved in on January 2nd. Our news partners at Channel 3 report College Dale City Manager Ted Rogers says information received that Chief Brian Hickman was involved in a chase in Bradley County that allegedly involved his personal vehicle and more as that investigation continues. And that is the Mix Morning Briefing on Mix TV, brought to you by Toyota of Cleveland. I'm Steve Hardline reporting.